I honestly, sincerely, and unequivocally do not expect any of your audience to believe any of this. I actually tell people this. It doesn't matter if you believe it or not. If it is happening, then it is happening. It doesn't matter if you believe it or not. So you believing something doesn't mean it's a lie. Or you might actually believe something that is a lie. And that is the reality of our world today. Most people believe lies, so the lie will continue to be to take control of their lives. What I believe he's talking about is Project Blue Beam. Definitely, definitely, that is a big part of the plan. That is a big part of the agenda. But I want you guys to listen to this close and tell me what you guys think later. Robert Bigelow said to me, they're walking among us. What do you mean, they're walking among us? He said, they're, they're walking among us. They live right here. Before I say this, this guy legitimately is in a position to know a lot more than I know. He had the government contracts. He had the contacts. He had the intellectual heavyweights in the scientific community all working for him. This guy definitely knows a lot. No question. And the guy's a billionaire. And then the fact that he's hoarding it all and it's under armed guard in a vault at his house, it kind of pisses me off a little bit. He says, James, um, do you understand the implications of disclosure? He said the economy would collapse, organized religion would collapse. I'm not saying that I believe this. I'm just telling you what he mm. said to me. I don't know if you guys have actually read Fritz and Springer's book. Where he actually talked about them being among us. And I don't know if you guys have actually seen the Simpsons episode where Homer Simpson actually exposed the politicians for being reptilians, right? And I don't know if this is the first time you guys are hearing about a reptilian figure actually caught in Brazil. And that, to me, that has still not been debunked. Nobody has actually said the truth about uh, what the, what's actually seen and uh, shown in Brazil at that time. And also, I don't know if you guys remember, to, in, in that same Brazil, there was a man, a doctor, who actually gave his testimony of seeing something that is reptilian. And he touched it, and when he touched it, he had a unique disease. He, he had a unique disease that could not be cured, so he actually died later. Later on, I actually saw that documentary. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it was on Telegram that that I saw that is a particular documentary. So what do we actually um, get from this? A lot of people have actually reported that these people actually live among us already, and you can see what the CIA can actually do with Max. The back as far back in the 90s what do you think that we have now in 2024 come on man people we, we we need to think about this so these guys are already working among us but most of us just live our life and think that oh it's just us that is right here nah no that's why that's why i say uh when people put on their halloween costume you know just like the movies, they say the spirits actually work among them. And people might not actually notice because everyone might think, that, oh, that's a costume. So I believe on the normal day, they all put on a costume and so that we, everyone can just say, okay, yeah, just a normal person. I don't know what, if, what, what I'm saying making sense to any of you, but if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, listen to David Ake for once. He will actually, he actually put you through a lot of this, a lot of these things.